This is an overview of the Vehicle Trauma Response First Aid Kit version two. So brand new for 2023, we've taken one of our best-selling kits and made it even better. So we're using the same bag that was in version one. This is just an epically awesome bag. We love it. Full Velcro on the front. You've got these Molly panels so you can run some gear through this. You can run your tourniquets on the outside. Uh, shears, gloves, you can add extra gear, even the headlamp that's in here. You can add lots of stuff on the outside if you like that. You can also add any hook and loop patches and it does come with our medical patch on here. The whole bag itself is attached to a quick release strap. So this goes around the headrest of the car, snugs on nice and tight and this whole thing just hangs off your headrest. So pretty awesome, it's ready to go. Then when you need it, you can just reach back, you just undo this one piece of Velcro and the whole kit just comes right off the backing. So now this can go to the scene and be your quick response. What we wanted is, uh, this is meant as a kit to respond from your vehicle. So you might have gloves on, it might be cold. We wanted to make the zippers nice and easy to open. So you get these big, high-vis, uh, large zipper pulls, just to make that kit nice and simple to open there. The other thing we wanted is we wanted all the contents to stay in this kit. There's nothing worse than responding to a scene, opening your bag and everything falls out and you've lost it all in the snow and the dirt, whatever. So this, everything's nice and maintained. Everything's in there, nothing's fallen out. You can even respond to this you know, in your car and kind of keep it in there, it'll hang right off your headrest, but everything is just beautifully organized. And that's one of my big pet peeves with a lot of first aid kits is a lack of organization. If you can't find what you need, it's a pretty useless kit. So we've really focused on making things high vis, easy to find, organized and methodical. So up top here, this is gonna be our emergency section. We've got our tourniquet up front and ready. When you get this kit, open it from the plastic, it's already staged, but at least out of the plastic and it's easy to use, easy to respond to it. Then you've got your emergency pressure bandage here. So again, for uh, bleeding control, it's an elastic wrap with your gauze. You've got your compressed crinkle gauze for wound packing, trauma shears for accessing patients. You can cut your uh, seat belts with it, uh, clothing if you need to. This is your window punch. So you can push this against the window to pop the window and then it just pulls off the bag and there's your seatbelt cutter. So that's all attached in here, ready to go. Then this is your kind of emergency response PPE. So this is your CPR face uh, barrier device for providing ventilations and two pairs of our nitrile gloves. Then in behind here, we've got two Emesis uh, vomit or urine bags or garbage bags, whatever you want to use them for. It's a nice collection there. This is your reference and resource uh, bag. So this has our field guide. It has your um, incident report forms to fill out for EMS, a pencil, a marker to write with. And it's also gonna include our checklist for the kit. So you can check your kit periodically, see if things have expired, what needs to be replaced, what should be in there. You'll have that all contained in here. And again, it keeps it nice and waterproof and collected. And then the back is one of the most important things we should be wearing when we respond to accidents outside around vehicles is a nice big reflective safety vest. So this, you can just open this up, throw it on top of you, and it's just gonna identify to other vehicles uh, that you're easier to see, because it's not always easy to see people at night. It's got a nice reflective strip on it. It also identifies you to emergency personnel when they arrive, that you're clearly there to assist with the scene um, so they can go to you and ask uh, you know, what you've done, what things you saw, anything like that. So just a really good full-size pop-out vest. It's one size fits most. It's gonna be great to add for your personal safety there. Then in our second module here, we have some pretty awesome stuff. Three triangle bandages to use whatever you want to use triangle bandages for. So such a versatile option here. Then we've got our eye and wound wash. So this is saline. You just pop this top and it's a nice irrigation pressure. Get stuff out of people's eyes. Clean out wounds really good. 110 mils in here. So you got lots of fluid to do some work with. Really good item there. Three inch elastic wrap. This is really good for uh, splints for sprains and strains, or also creating an emergency pressure uh, dressing if you need to. So you got that in here. And then one of the new items of version two is a full-size headlamp. Um, so I showed this headlamp in our breakdown of the kit, but just again, you've got a high, a low, a red, and a flashing red, and it's a nice elastic strap. It is adjustable, so you can make this fit whatever size person you are, whatever size head you got, um, and it just creates some hands-free illumination. So really key when we're responding um, to scenes outside. It comes with the three triple A's you need. And I love that it's triple A's. It's an easy battery most of us have. It's gonna be easy to replace and stay on top of. So we've got that in there. In behind here, we have our two emergency kind of body warmers. So these are like your, your hand warmers. You open them up, they activate with air and they just kind of keep you warm. So if you've got a cold patient, you can add that. 
You've also got two emergency blankets to wrap your patient in or yourself if you're getting cold. We know in trauma, heat, or sorry, trauma, um, a cold patient that's in trauma is really not ideal. So we want to keep those patients warm. So you've got some good emergency blankets in there to do that. Then we've got a nice cold pack. So this is really good for anyone who has a, a bruise, soft tissue injury, you know, kid falls down and gets a little bump. This is just really nice for the kind of that pain relief aspect to it. And then one of the really awesome items we included is a full size padded splint. So this is a moldable. You can fit this to kids and adults and it's kind of a cast on the go. It's great. It has instructions right on the front of how to use it on arms and legs. Um, it's already padded. It's got a good aluminum structure. It's x-ray translucent. So at the hospital, they don't have to take this off, even to x-ray it. Uh, it's just an amazing way to kind of uh, immobilize an injury you think might be broken that then needs to be transported for further assessment. Then our last module down here is all our wound care stuff. So nice big zipper to kind of keep everything closed. You get a roll of one inch medical tape. And this is the really good um, porous, breathable tape. It's not going to bug the skin as much as kind of standard tapes out there. And then we've modulized everything in here to make it easy to find. So here's your bandage and tweezer kit. It includes all the different types of bandages. So you get 20 standard, four knuckle, four fingertip, four island, and four butterfly, as well as some really good fine point stainless steel tweezers. So you got that all in this little baggie right here. Then we got our cleaning and swabs packet. So this includes uh, four BZK antiseptic wipes for cleaning wounds, uh, four alcohol uh, swabs for cleaning around the wound to kind of help the bandages uh, stick and cleaning your tweezers or your scissors. Then we got some ointments. So we have an antibacterial ointment to help uh, reduce the chance of infection after you've cleaned everything out and you're about to dress it. And then we have some uh, burn gel. So really good, particularly around cars when you know, people are handling a hot engine, hot muffler, that kind of stuff. Burns are pretty easy. This is gonna provide some cooling pain relief to it. So you get two of those in there. And then you also get four um, hand cleansing towelettes. So this is after you provided the care, you can clean your own hands to help prevent that kind of disease transmission and keep yourself clean. Then we've got two four inch rolls of roller gauze. So this can be used to attach the splint. Um, it can be used to attach a dressing. Uh, it can be used as extra gauze if you need to. Just a very versatile item to have in here. And then our last packet here is our gauze packet. So this includes a large uh, trauma bandage, two large four inch by four inch gauze pads, four of the two inch by two inch gauze pads and two of the three inch by four inch non-adherent pads. So those are really good for actually dressing a wound afterwards. They're kind of like a giant band-aid that in conjunction with your roller gauze um, can cover a larger wound and it won't stick to the patient as much as that kind of standard gauze is going to. So that's an overview of the brand new kit, uh, the Vehicle Trauma Response First Aid Kit version two. It is available now at wildmedkits.ca and we hope to see you there.